Warning. Warning. UFO detected. Welcome back into XCOM UFO Defense. Let's get back into a base thing here so that I can stop the uh, overall timer on the Geoscape. Uh, this is the base that we designed at the very end of the configuration thing to yesterday. And uh, let's go through this a little bit. If you were there, then you, you know why I picked what I did, but let's go ahead and, and review this. I, I have the option that I selected to allow me to build the base the way I wanted it rather than the way that the game wanted to give it to me. And what I've done is I've placed down three hangers, connected it to an access lift. If I get attacked during a retaliation mission, the base, the base gets attacked, all of the attackers drop into one of these four locations. I'm, I put them all here so this way I have a choke point where everybody has to come through here and I can set up some defenses in the living quarters from either side. I'll probably put some living quarters over here where most of the uh, defense, the soldiers that are here will come in. Uh, all your manufacturing guys, all your scientists guys, they don't come into the into play when you're attacked. It's not like in a terror mission when they're running around getting shot. Uh, all your, your soldiers will be in here, usually. They, you will not have any soldiers spawning in there. They almost always spawn within the livable spaces. So the, in the workshop, in the laboratories, and in the living spaces. So that's where we're going to be putting it. Uh, these were all the ones that don't have numbers on it were what was given to me in the beginning. You can do an upgraded, but I didn't. Um, so I have a small radar system. I'm going to put it on a large radar system. Once I get that in there, I can remove the small radar system and just rely on the, the large one. I've added another uh, general store because I am doing the uh, amount of space is being restricted. We'll take a look at that in a second. And I'm adding some living quarters because I'm getting close. So we'll take a look at this. Here's the options. I thought I had six, but it looks like I have actually eight places I can build bases. I think six you can cover the, the, the globe, pretty much. I think eight. You're absolutely going to cover everything. Um, if we look at the base information, this is just a breakdown of what is in my base. So this is going to tell me I have eight soldiers. I have ten engineers, ten scientists. These are available. The eight soldiers are not available because they're sitting in the avalanche or they're sitting in the uh, Sky Ranger waiting to go kick alien and butt. Uh, as far as total living space, though, there's 28 people. I have space for 50. So that's why I'm adding another living quarter. So bring it up to 100. I'll probably stop there. This base is going to be primarily for intercepts. And so I won't have to worry about um, dealing with a lot of people. Mostly I'll have to get bodies, more body soldiers to throw out there to run into the face of the aliens. Stores, this is where I'm being limited. Uh, I only have uh, 35 of 50. If you click on stores, it'll tell you what that 35 is being used for. Mostly uh, my avalanche missiles. It's taking up a lot of space. So I need I need a whole room just for my avalanche speed and stuff. And then there's the rest of the stuff that I have. I threw some stuff into the Sky Ranger already. So I, I that's actually reducing some of my storage utilization right now. Uh, as far as the laboratory and the workshop goes, I have a capacity for 50 scientists and 50 workers to do, go in there and do that work. I only have 10 of each. So I, they're not assigned. So it's not telling me that I've got anything going on there. Alien containment is just telling me how much room I have for aliens and how many I have. Zero and zero. I got three hangers with three guys, three things in the hangers, so that's good. This is my defense strength for my base, so if I put in missiles or other things to try to defend against an attack, um, when an attack comes in, I shoot back at whatever's coming, and I get the chance to shoot it down before it actually comes in. It takes quite a bit to shoot something down, so it's, if this is not something where you're like, well, I'll just put some missiles in your team. No, no. If you don't put enough, you put, you shouldn't put any at all. Um, as far as I know, there is no payback to doing some damage. You either do enough to shoot it down or you don't. This is my detection range, short range or long range. Um, I do believe there is an advantage for short to long. I think short is better at picking things up, but long range gets obviously further out. We also have two other things here. We've got transfers, which is just telling me how many things are being sent to my base and when I should expect them to arrive. We'll see that again. And the monthly cost. How much am I spending on stuff? Well, I'm renting my interceptors and my Sky Rangers. This will change later. But this is soaking up nearly 1.7 or 1.7 million. Uh, and then I have to pay salaries. I have to pay for the base stuff that I have. Here's my current income. And we'll see where that's coming. There's my maintenance. So this is how much I'm going to be having available to spend every month that comes around. Not a lot. We're going to want to do something about that. All right. 
Next, we're going to take a look at the uh, craft that are in there. We've got the Sky Ranger and the Interceptors. Both Interceptors are the same. If you click on them, here are the weapons that I have available. Max ammo, max uh, how many ammo I have and what's the maximum. I can shoot up to six of this. That's 600 points of damage. That's enough to take down the most. It'll take down everything we're going to run into in the beginning of this game. And then the end game, it, they, yeah, there'll be some bigger things that I can't shoot down with that. I'll have to intercept them twice. Uh, and then we got the Sky Ranger. Sky Ranger has three things here. It's going to have armor, which we have none of. So all these guys are wearing no armor. Nothing I can do about it. I have to go research armor to be able to get that, but I don't have any. Um, I've got the crew and I've got the equipment. So here's all the equipment right here. I, I don't, I, this says I have some space available. So if I want to, I can throw more in here. But you'll notice the space is not changing. That's because I'm not limited on space. I can just throw everything I want to in here out of my happy camper. And in fact, I am going to just throw everything I've got into the Sky Ranger. So when I do land somewhere, I can choose what it is I'm going to equip everything with. Okay. So if I go to the inventory, I can see what everybody's picked up. And we can see that here's all the stuff that's currently on the ground. And as I go through them, the stuff on the ground doesn't change. But we can see what people are carrying what. Now, we're going to be coming back here to look at this. But you can see over here, there's a few things I want to point out. Weight, accuracy, and reaction. Reaction, again, is how fast they can choose. Well, actually, let's go back here before we go there. Crew. So we'll take a look at one of the crew members. Now, you're, you're, you're in there, buddy. Can't I... I, I I can let me look at you from there. Okay, I have to go back over here to soldiers. There we go. So here's what a soldier looks like. This is his rank up here. He's currently a rookie. And it'll tell him that you're right here. He's a rookie. He's sitting in the Sky Ranger 1 right now. He's got nothing. He's done. No armor. I can take a sack. I can also look at a diary to see what he's been doing. What's his combat? What's his performance? This will be fun to look at later. But here's some of the things. You'll see there's two spaces missing. This is for psionics. How strong you are at psionics and how defensive you are at psionics. That'll come in later when we do the appropriate research, but right now we don't know that exists. Time units are how many, uh, everything you do in this game takes time units. So for example, if I pull out a, a grenade from my belt, it'll consume, I think, 12, 8 or 12 time units. Then I would arm it. That takes 30 some odd, like 32 time units. Then I want to throw it, it takes 14 time units. It is possible to be in a situation where I pull out a grenade, I prime it, but I don't have enough, I can't throw it. So now I'm bringing around with a live grenade in my hand, and if for any reason I drop it, it'll go off. So if I panic with a live grenade in my hand and drop it, I'm dead. Stamina is going to be used for just if you're running around and you're carrying a lot of things, this could come into effect. I, we're, we'll see that move. Health is just, of course, obviously what it is. It's hit points. How much can I take? Bravery is going to be around. Um, checks for, like, Guys are dying. If guys are dying left and right, uh, I'm going to start getting uh, some morale checks to see if I panic and run away. The higher the bravery, the better. Uh, and it's also used for, I think I think there's a, a, a mind control aspect to it as well. Reactions. If something moves in my field of fire, how likely am I to be able to get a shot off before it goes back in hiding? Um, having good reactions is, is really important if you do a lot of overwatching. So this is really an Overwatch kind of thing. There is no Overwatch button. If you have the time units and something moves in front of you, they check the reactions and you shoot. So Overwatch is really done by just saving some time units. Firing accuracy is obviously just how well you are. How good are you shooting something? Your throwing accuracy is just if you, you want to shit, hit, hit a particular spot on the map with a, with a grenade, how likely is that to happen? Your melee accuracy is going to be uh, associated with things like your uh, stun rods. And, you know, how likely are you going to be able to hit if you want to hit somebody with a stun rod? Um, not as important. Most of the time you're shooting at stuff so, or you're throwing. Strength is going to be both how far can you throw something and how much crap can you carry. Uh, in the beginning, a low strength is going to keep us somewhat restricted on how much stuff we can carry and what we're going to be throwing. But we're going to want to do things to try to maximize this stuff out. For example, we load up our characters. We're going to be loading up max strength as close as we can get to it so that uh, when the, the, the end of the mission comes around, it's going to look and see, well, were you carrying a lot of weight? And yes, I was. And so I'm going to make you stronger. Uh, so now when we go through from each character, each of these is randomized. So you can see there's a more randomization here for, for throwing accuracy, a uh, little bit better time units, things that we want to look at. I want to see firing accuracy. I want to see reaction, 
health is good, tidiness is good, bravery can kind of suck. And in fact, I got a couple of guys here who are at ten, him and 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 him. Uh, these two guys, I mean, this guy, I'd be tempted to just sack and throw out the door. <laughs> he he's not very accurate. He can't throw very far. His reactions aren't that great. He's not very brave. His health's kind of low. He's got some, yeah, a little bit of a bonus there, the, the stamina, but oh, good God, man. Look at this. Look at this. He's just all the way around bad. <laughs> but he's one of our new guys, so we'll keep him. All right. Um, so we've done that. We did the build facilities. If I go in here and select any more, uh, I have to pay money. If I put something down and I say, you know what, I don't like it, I do not get my money back. It is pay up front, all gone. Um, research. So now we, here's where we're gonna be able to pick new projects. So if I select a new project, here's all the stuff I can research. Um, there is, a, so these three things, obviously better weapon, uh, motion scanner is a way for me to bring up a alien-like thing to see, did somebody around me move? And the more they move, the bigger the dot on the screen will be. And so I can kind of use this to find out somebody's behind a wall. Yeah, it's situationally nice. Med kits will, will keep people, if they go unconscious, you can bring them back up. If they get hit, you can try to heal some health. Um, so med kits are pretty good. You can also sell med kits for more than it takes to build them. This is important. Uh, our way of generating money will be taking out crashed or landed alien saucers, getting all the stuff out of it, and then selling it to the public. <laughs> Here, buy an alien head. Um, one of the other things I can do is I can make stuff and sell it. Most of the things that we can build, laser weapons, motion scanners, cost more to make than I can sell them for. Not true for med kits. So I'm gonna pick med kit right up front. I'm gonna put some bunch of people in there and start that project. It does mean I am gonna delay my laser weapons. I might not want to do that right off the bat, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because that's what I want to do. So this is probably a bad call, but hey, that won't be the last one. Manufacturing. I can pick something to produce. I have nothing I can produce. There's no items here I can produce, so I'm just gonna sit around and wait. As soon as I have med kits, I can start making med kits, and then when I get laser weapons, I start making laser weapons. I can probably could do all that. In fact, you know, if I want to, I can come back here. I can cancel this project. Probably think I should. I'm gonna go into laser weapons. Let's get the laser weapons going because it's gonna be so much better. There we go. And then when the it comes around, we'll start building them. In the beginning, I think uh, my money situation is not gonna be that is big of an issue. I will end up creating a base that has nothing but like one interceptor. Uh, the access lift, and then it's like all manufacturing. And I'll just be cranking out med kits left and right so that I can swim in enough funds to be able to buy what I need. All right, so that's those. Here's the transfer areas. So if I come down here, we'll come back to that. Purchase and recruit. So here's where I get to buy everything and buy and get things. I'm going to buy more bodies. And I want more scientists if I can because the research is going to be important. And then we're going to come down here. Here's all the all the weapons and stuff. I could get a tank if I want to, but I don't think I'm getting a tank yet. It's kind of expensive. Here's my current funds. We'll, we'll see. Uh, we're gonna come down here. So grenades. I'm gonna want to get another bunch of grenades. So I'll get ten more grenades because I'll be sending those out. I want to get some more. Uh, I'll get at least one smoke grenade for everybody. The proximity grenades are interesting. Where if you throw them somewhere, basically it's just. If something runs across and it explodes, it's kind of nice. I think you can set them off yourself, so you don't want to do that. I'm going to buy two stun rods so that when it comes time for me to start capturing people, I can do things. And then I want to buy, like, uh, let's see, I have eight. Why don't we go to 12? I'll buy like 36 of these. Space used. So now I see how much I have, how much space is it going to be consumed, and where I'm at. All right, so that that is good stuff next thing i'm gonna do is i want to buy some uh, ammo uh, i'm not gonna have heavy uh, heavy ammo here i'm gonna buy another uh couple of ap and he the auto cannon currently has nothing but ap in it i got a bunch of that so i'll buy a couple more he by that time i'll be done let's go ahead and buy like another 16 clips of rifle ammo and that'll be good where am i at fine i could i could buy a cannon i 
take yet. I... Oh boy. I think I will. I'm very close to being over. I no, let's not do this. I need some space. I want I need to wait for my general storage to come back. I need space for when I pick up stuff off the ground with the aliens. So we'll leave this alone. There we go. That's it. Now if I look at transfer, I shouldn't end up at a point where it'll tell me when it's coming in. I can also sell anything that I have. Um I have both of my interceptors loaded with avalanche missile launchers. I don't need these two. I'm gonna sell these two. It's going to give me some space back, and I need that space pretty badly, so that'll be good. I'm going to keep all my avalanche missiles because there's a fire them. I need to replace them. So I'll sell those off. There we go. How are we doing here on the thing? Let's go back to the geoscape for, for a few seconds. Go back into base. Is it on transfer? No. This is going back to, to people. Where's. Do I have an arrival list somewhere? Here we go. So now I get to see who's coming in and how long it's going to take. So I, I have about a day before I get my gear, and I have three days before people show up. Okay. Now that we're done, let's go into the geoscape. Here we are. We're, this is our coverage going on right here. I've got it at five seconds. I'll leave it there for a minute. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few of these things. So I can do an intercept, which means I can select any one of my guys here and send them off to fire you know, to attack somebody. I can go into the bases. We did that. I can take a look at graphs. So this is going to show me different things like UFO activity, um, activity UFO type by the countries. So I can see what's going on across the world, but I have to select it. So for example, here I'm in, uh, where am I? In Africa? Arctic. Why did I skip over it? There's North Africa. There we go. And South Africa. We'll pick those two. So right now, if I go through these, there's nothing there. And then I can see the income coming in. Let's, you know, income, expense, maintenance, balance. So you can get a lot of information overload going on. It's kind of nice to see. Uh, again, if I take a look here, I can do just total of everybody. And then if I want to see how everybody is giving stuff to me, depending on what happens in their country, they will... Uh, start to cut and at some point they will just say you're not doing enough for us we're going to leave your, your organization we're going to do things on our own generally means i'm going to join the aliens there's the activity in countries in the various areas and then activity that way okay there we go back to this thing ufopedia is going to be where we can go in here and research all of our or not research but look and see what we've got already so if we look at under alien artifacts there's nothing uh, alien researchers, nothing. Uh, but if I want to look at weapons and, and uh, stuff here, I can see that. So, for example, I can like look at the flare. It'll tell me a little bit about the flare. Um, I can look at like the pistol, and it'll tell me things about accuracy and time units. Uh, time. This is the percentage. Notice, notice, eighteen percent, thirty percent. So it kind of scales with your guy, but I think that's okay. Um, it's armor piercing and it's going to do 26 points of damage where the pistol is going to do 30 so the, the pistol is a little bit nicer for that the uh, accuracy of the pistol you can see here the, the pistol is actually not bad it's it's not bad for uh the damage four points off what is that uh, 10 percent reduction 15 percent reduction in damage and i have a 60 to 78 percent accuracy and here i've got you know Eh, unless I aim and that, if I aim it takes 80% of my stuff now notice how this is set up if I take an aim shot I can't do anything else but I can do what uh, two two auto shots that gets me to 70 and a snap which gets me to 95% so I've spent 95% of my stuff for six seven shots or I can take one single shot at 110% accuracy I actually will end up doing a lot of aim shots at the beginning because I can't hit crap without a, a better accuracy, but that's where we're going to be going. So that's where we're going to be looking at stuff as we come through here. We can take a look at the armor on our thing, so we can take a look at the, uh, the interceptor's performance, and it'll tell me what the max speed, the acceleration, the fuel capacity, all that sort of good stuff on it, and uh, that, that'll be happy for us. All right. The options we've already seen with all the, the game options. Funding. This is how much money I'm currently getting from each of the areas. So if you can look at this, there's a reason why you might not want to take, see South Africa is 400, 
this is just South Africa. Where is it? There's North Africa? Nope, just Africa. So 450,000 of this is them. Almost a million is the U.S. So a lot of people will start by covering the U.S. or covering uh, Europe. But I, I decided to handicap myself and start here. This is going to be how much money I currently have. This is the time of day, the date of the you know that we're running at, and this will be how fast do I want things to go forward. So you watch the timer. Now I'm moving five. Now I'm moving five minutes, thirty minutes, and as soon as something happens, it goes. Oh, do you want to you want to take a look at this? I'm going to center on the UFO. Center in five seconds. There he is. He just came into view. I can throw up an interceptor right now because I'd rather shoot something down. Go. I could wait a little bit because this is nighttime. I do not want to go attack something at night, especially not without any kind of lighting or flares. You can see there's an intercept going on. It's got that line in there that's, that's doing the predictive that we saw before. I'm going to kick this up to one minute. There he is. You got an intercept. And I'm going to do. Uh, let's, let's do a caution. There we go. Got it. And I blew this thing up completely. There's nothing left. It's gone. All right. Fine. So he's going to come back and he's going to reload and rearm. Let's go ahead and have him come back. As soon as he lands, we'll take a look at the intercept. Now if I look here, you can see he's rearming. And it takes a little while for him to rearm. I got a couple hours that went by. There he is back and ready. Okay. Now I've got stuff that have landed here. I'm going to go to my base. I'm going to go to my equipment. I'm going to go to the Sky Ranger. I'm going to load that puppy up. There's the equipment. Here's all the new stuff that's just come in. One of the biggest things is I'm going to throw in these flares because, oh my God, I'm going to need some light. Uh, I'll throw the sun rods in here. We can definitely put in the extra smoke grenades, right? the extra grenades, and the extra clips of stuff here. In fact, I might as well put in the uh, HE ammos, AP ammo. So now I have more options for ammo. I will probably do more uh, heavy cannon ammo HE than uh, I will otherwise. And the reason for that, if we look at the UFO and weapons, heavy cannon. So the armor pierce is going to do 56. The high explosive does 52. The incendiary does 60. But the high explosive is like a grenade and it will open up an area. So I will tend to use this heavy cannon as a convenient way to clear uh, the clear obstructions so I can get a, a, a nice clear line of sight. Let's see if we can get a decent intercept going on here. Anybody else? A couple of days have gone by. Now we got bodies. Okay, let's uh, go to the base again. Soldiers. Now, can I stick anybody else on the Sky Ranger? Let's go back into Equip Craft, Sky Ranger, Crew. There we go. Now we got fully loaded. 16, 14 people. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, every, every, everybody get in there, goddammit. Um, I don't think I have enough gear for 14, though. Eight, that means six people are carrying something else. No, I don't like that. I think I need to get four. One more rifles. Okay. Done. Uh, we have nothing yet built. How's our research coming? Progress is good. Thanks. All right. Let's go up to an hour and into a day. And here come my four rifles. Go to base again. Good craft. Sky Ranger. Equipment. Rifles. All right. We're in a pretty good situation right now for the game to for us to run into something. Research complete on laser weapons. Okay. I can now research laser pistol. Thanks. All right. Then it'll be a laser rifle. Then it'll be heavy laser. Construction for general stores is complete. That's fine. We'll just keep going. 
laser crystal is done. Now we can see what that is looking like. Now, interesting that we have auto as well. It does 46 points of damage. I'm about to use a laser clip as well. So it'll probably have coming up next. But my time here was this auto. I can do three autos and a snap. That's 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 pretty good. Yes, I do want to allocate for a laser rifle. Laser rifle is going to be pretty important for us. Okay. Okay. Now we can produce. Let's manufacture a few of these. Laser weapon. It's going to cost me 8,000 to create one. It takes two spaces. I have 50. So I think we're fine. Let's go and start the production. Um, I'm going to put all the engineers on it because why not? And let's produce four. It's going to take me five days to produce all four. Intercept. Size large, altitude low. He's probably coming in to build a base or something. I don't want that. You, go get him. Wow, he is cruising. Uh, go to the last known position. Yeah, you can just sit around here and wait. Where was he going? He might have been going way down there, but that's that's unfortunate. All right, well, I'm gonna go. Wait. No. All right. Yep. Return to base. That's unfortunate. Living quarters. Okay. So now let's go ahead and back to base here and do a recruitment. I want ten here. Ten more here. Or five. Anybody else? Okay, go to the base. Now let's go ahead. Now I have to reallocate these guys. So you can see I've got more bodies. So now I can go ahead and make that happen. Manufacturing. Uh, I need uh, another few hours, 11 hours left. Now I'm down to six hours. Okay, so we've done that. Let's go ahead and do some more production. Um, I think I'll do another couple. We do two at a time. And base. Let's go ahead and equip this craft. We're gonna throw in the uh, laser pistols now. Now, purchase recruit. I believe I need ammo. Well, that's working out, so let's go ahead and do another couple. If I wanted to, I want to sell these. I just, I, it looks like I could make a profit off of that if I wanted to. But I'm going to go ahead and build those up. All right, there's the rifle. 34. It's a little bit better on the auto snap, right? I can do three snaps. No. Two. Two autos and one snap still. But I'm doing much better damage. Okay, so now I'm going to allocate research. I can do a heavy laser or I can do med kits. Let's do the heavy laser. Yeah. How are we doing? We've got seven hours to go. I'm going to finish that off. And now we're going to go ahead and do uh, laser rifles. And I need, uh, what, 14 of these? Two hundred eighty. Go back into the craft in case I do need to go somewhere. I can at least uh, start using laser pistols, maybe. Yeah, I got fourteen guys there, and then we'll we'll get through the month here, and then we'll probably get more bodies. Aha! Center on this small, very low. Here's that small guy. Go get him.
Not over the water. Thank you. There we go. Crash landed. That's what it looks like. Now we can do an intercept. It's daylight. Let's go get this guy. And then we'll end this. A lot of, lot of talk and a lot of stuff in the first episode. But, you know, that's kind of important. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. We're going to begin. It's going to give us a chance to allocate stuff. I've got the laser pistols here. Um, so this is where we're going to be able to see how we got things going. Everybody's going to get a rifle or something like that. I think the laser pistol... You see it's got 12 rounds. And it's using... Well, actually, the laser pistol. Do I not have ammo for that? Apparently not. So this guy is going to do, I think, 60, 40. I think it's better than the, uh, the rifle. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do uh, the, the dual thing here. I, I don't think there's an accuracy hit for that. Let's see. Oh, you are probably fine with that. Let's go back here. What's your weight? You got enough room for a smoke, another smoke grenade? No, I need a, what's daylight? Don't have to worry about illumination. Two smoke and a, uh, yeah, that's fine. You got good uh, accuracy, decent reaction. Anything over 50 is going to be fine by me at the moment. You're already at max weight. You are not. Give you a laser pistol. Put you up at six. How are you doing on gear? Give you another of one of these. I am curious to see how much it takes to get a, something off the belt. I know that taking out a leg is 12. One in the shoulder here. We'll see. 22. His weight sucks. Uh, but we'll give him a smoke. Can I give him a smoke? No, I can't give him a smoke. Not without taking out a rifle clip. I'll, I'll, you know what? Give me a clip. Smoke and all that. You're at max weight already. Accuracy is good. You're fine where you're at. So are you. Okay, you're heavy. I don't see anything new that I'm changing. Hey, you got some extra weight. How much does this thing weigh? Too much, you say? You know what? I'm going to do this anyway. Let's take out a clip. Ooh, you can carry something better. Do I do a little rocket launcher with you? Look at the weight of a, a missile, by the way. Six. And that's 16. I can do that in two more and if I take everything off of them. But I'm going to do that because the rocket can be uh, helpful. Okay. What was his accuracy? Oh, yeah, it's fine. And we're back to the beginnings. All right, we're good. Uh, inventory? Nah, I won't do that. And we're okay. First turn. One of the things about playing in the XCOM universe is uh, everybody starts with full-time units. Aliens are here. They got full-time units. They didn't do anything yet. So if I step my head out here, they are going to kick my ass. So pass the turn. Excuse me? Somebody already, like, made a move and, like, mm, Okay. I got a highlight of this guy. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm getting a, a little bit of an angle. So if I grab this, I can look. That's our distance. Next guy. Bring him here. Okay. One of the things I can do is I can take my cursor and see how that I've got a red box. I can go here and see this is the end of the map. And this is the end of the map. If I go over here, you can see the end of the map is way down that way. 
What that tells me is I might want to actually move over towards this direction and uh, get inside here to use that as a defensive position. I'm going to kneel here, face that way. You're done. This is going to give me, don't reselect that unit when I, when I move. Oh, shoot, I, I see somebody already. 59, an aim shot, 46, but I can do a, sh a, a snap at 13 units. How many units do I have left? 35. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna do an auto shot. <laughs> Dear Lord, um, I have 15 units left. I'm going to go here. Body. He's looking away from me, so I don't have to worry about him shooting me in the back. You, however, can I see this guy? No. That See that bull flashing block there? Tell me it's in my way. There we go. Now I can see him. Um, I don't... Uh, time unit wise... Yeah, I'm going to do auto shot on him. See if he's good. Okay. Can I get up? To, no, I, I, I probably... Oof. I need to get him out of the way though. guys too close. I'm trying to think if I should throw a grenade in there. What are you what are you carrying right now? You are I can do an auto shot right here. That did not do what I was hoping it would do. Damn it. Alright. Are you my heavy? No. Who's my heavy? You are. What is currently loaded on you? Armor piercing, not a uh, not HE. take 16 for a snap. I'm going to have to do it sooner or later. Unload. Yeah. I'm done. That's unfortunate. But that means you are probably the only guy left can take this guy out. I have 29 units left. I can do two snapshots. He's not dead, but he's unconscious. That's good. All right, so that that was that was actually kind of key. I'm gonna move some guys here to the front. You. that okay and what does it take to throw 14 and how much do you have left 16 
Can I throw this over here somewhere? Okay. I'm just trying to cover any kind of firing coming from this direction. So I'm trying to give myself some cover. I'm done. Another guy in there? Well, he's unconscious. Alright. Triple. Look at that, man. You are gonna come around this way. Can I go around the back? No, I can't. You're there for a, uh, I just tried to move my, my map. You're facing that way. You, Neil, you're staying there. You did, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can I uh, just put that back in my belt maybe? Eight. Okay. I'm just going to run him into the corner. Same to you. I think this is going to be fire support. Gives you a bonus to hit. All right, I think I'm just going to move you up, guys, to the, the edge here. Hey, turn. Here's somebody opening and closing doors. You can you can actually look around. See if you can see any doors open. Yep, there's a door open right there. I think. No, that's actually not a door open. That's a door open though. Okay. Um that is worth Six, huh? Uh, forty. Damn it. Not you. Somebody up in the, the thing here. You, right there. Forty one units. Also not enough. Twenty eight units. Nope. How much do I need for a snap? Thirteen. Okay, you guys. Both of you are going to kneel. You're all covering the spot, but it also, it's 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 no good. Um, you, however, might be able to do it. Did we open it? We didn't open it up enough. But that was the whole intent: was to give myself some room. To, to, to throw things in there. Do an aimed shot. Actually, hold on. Let's kneel. 
Aim shot. Nope, still not open enough. Okay. Fine, fine, you got over, over and then rocket launcher dude. Okay, you're done. Face that way, done. You got 52, so why don't you come around in here too? I don't think there's gonna be any more guys, but we're, we're, we're watching this dude in case he gets back up. And I think we're done. No, I think I, I can bring you in around here too. Okay. Face that way. Neil. Done. Ah! Where's my reaction shots? Damn it. <laughs> Alright, who's the uh who's the guinea pig? You look like you might be guinea pig. No? Okay. I'll go right there. I I just don't like the way that that's that that, that settled out. Forty-five time units. I have thirty-eight. Thirty-five. No, I'm going to kneel for forty. I'm going to launch it right there. Still didn't see him. Damn it! All right. Hey, I get. It. I don't know the time units do. I nope. I don't. All right. Uh, you. Prime your grenade. Throw that puppy. Wow. All right. All right. It is what it is. Okay. I want to. I want to do a clear. Uh, I probably should look behind me. I think you were the one who's not dead yet, right? No, you're dead. That looks pretty much clear to me. I'll come back here. Because I don't need to I don't need to cause that as a problem. You you're fine. going to be fine. I want to clear this guy before I actually move anywhere. I could I could bring you here. Don't need to select you, you're done. You are doing Overwatch. Actually, you know, you can come over here and do Overwatch. You guys are intended to be the lineup for shoot stuff, but whatever. I don't want to be on either side of here. I want to be further in. Nope. 
I'll go there. You're on Overwatch. You're going to be going in next round. Over, not Overwatch. You guys don't get a whole lot of done. Overwatch, Overwatch, done. Okay. There we go. Got him. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. I didn't get anybody. Oh, he did die. Oh, well. If I had a, a med kit, he wouldn't have died. But I got some navigation, some alien, uh, alien alloys out of that. That's good. And I got some corpses that I can start to, to research. Not enough to fully re-equip everybody. Yep, clips, rocket, rocket. Yep, sure. And I got three sergeants, three people that were uh, lost in service. One dude. All right. Let's go back and take a look at our soldiers. So they got bonuses. You can see a little bit of yellow on this. So you got better strength. You got a little bit of stamina, a point of health, a point of accuracy. No, point of reaction. Nice. More time units there. Stamina, health, some strength. I think everybody should probably get a little bit of strength because I loaded them all up so much. Firing accuracy touch. So that's looking pretty good. Okay. And Yeah, just the sergeants. Okay. Grass site. What about the performance? Got one sectoid with an auto cannon. Okay. We're done. Uh, I need to buy more stuff though. Uh, looks like. Well, do I? No, because I'm making. Uh, I'm making the laser pistols. Now I got laser rifles happening. Right. So now if I go to the equip craft. Can't do it. So until you get back. Okay, now that you're back, quick craft. Sky Ranger with the refueling equipment. They should have some laser stuff now, right? Oh, it's no, it's a batch. No, it's not a batch. Okay. We'll let some more time go by here and then when the next thing oh, terror. Okay. So, this <laughs> terror missions always happen at night. The basis of a terror mission is they uh, they land a bunch of guys, sometimes a couple of heavies, and they go around killing civilians. And you have to try to save as many civilians as you can. Um, we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll we'll center on that site right there. And I'm going to go ahead and go into options. We're going to go ahead and uh, save this game. If you wait until daylight. Uh, it'll go away. Terror missions always happen, always happen at night. So we'll save our, our game here. There we go. We're going to save it. And we'll come back on the next episode and do the terror mission. Come back and join me. Take care. Bye-bye. Creeping through the shadows and the corners of your mind. I go where the wind blows. I run, but I don't hide. I hear the call of the wild, whispering the name. No, I can't be tamed. My heart belongs to the night. I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm, a, I'm alone, boy. I'm a lone wolf. I'm a lone wolf. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf. I'm a I'm a, I'm a lone wolf. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf. I'm a, I'm a.